What's up, y'all? Um, if you can't tell just by looking at this video, uh, I got a brand new camera. I guess the title of the video will give that away, too. But anyway, um, yeah, brand new camera. I keep looking over there because there's a monitor on here, but I don't know exactly if I would go into vlogging. I know some people have asked me about that. Uh, I guess technically this is a vlog, right? It'll definitely help my videos because I have, I don't know if you noticed in my last video, there was a little bit of glitching with the webcam. So this shouldn't do that. Um, I don't really know what else to say. God, this is awkward. Um, I might actually just do some more filming today, just going around about my day, just so I can test it out and see what it does. But by the way, the camera is a Canon EOS M50. It shoots in 4K, even though right now I'm only filming in 1080. It's really good. Like, as you can see, the light, everything. I don't even have a lot of light on right now. My actual light that I use for filming is not even out here. And this looks great. So I know once I put that light on, it's gonna be fantastic. All right, so yesterday I didn't do anything that I said I was gonna do. Um, I was supposed to go out, take a couple of pictures, maybe test video on the camera. Uh, yeah, I forgot to do that. And, well, I didn't really forget to do it. One, it was raining outside, so I didn't want to take the camera outside. But then I had too much other stuff that I had to do. So anyway, here I am today. Um, I'm actually filming this on my phone, not on the camera, so you'll probably notice a huge difference. I'm on my way to the DMV, and I'll have to wait in line probably forever because I have to renew my registration. Um, after that, because it is not raining today, maybe I can go outside, take some pictures, test out the camera, just see how things look, how it works, whatever. And I don't know, it's so weird trying to do a vlog. This is my first time ever really doing a full out vlog. So I don't know, this is so funny to me, but I'm just doing this just to test it out. Anyway, I'll catch you all later after I leave the DMV. All right, so I finished at the DMV. It actually didn't take as long as I thought it would. Um, there really wasn't much of a line when I got there. I did end up walking all the way to the front door and then I had to go back to my car because I forgot to put on a mask. Um, I don't know how, we're like nine, 10 months into this and I still keep forgetting to put my mask on. Everything with that was finished. I was not happy with how much money I had to pay, but I mean, that's just how things go. Now I am, well one, I'm actually filming with the camera again, so we're back to good quality, but I'm actually on the way to get something to eat. And then when I get back home, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I guess edit this video so I can upload it, even though it probably won't be up until tomorrow, which is, well, Wednesday. So I don't know, we'll see. I may be able to get it up today, but it just depends on how quick I get it edited. So I'll see y'all later. All right, so in this part of the video, I do wanna do a comparison between my new camera, the EOS M50, and my webcam, which is a, a Logitech C90, I believe. Yeah, Logitech C90. So right now I have them both side by side. Um, they're probably about six, seven inches apart from each other just because my USB cable is not long enough for me to have uh, both cameras right on top of each other. But here is the webcam and I actually thought it was so much better when I got the uh, light, which it is, it's a lot better than what I was doing before I got this big light. Um, the only thing about it is the colors are a little bit weird and also looking at it, I can see there's like some, um, it almost kind of like flattens the image out a little bit versus when I look at the M50. Now the M50 is a little bit further away from me than the webcam. So that does make some of a difference. Um, but the colors, I'm looking at my screen here, the color, I like the colors a lot better on it as well as the focus. Now it is kind of driving me crazy. I don't know why. When I start using, Canon has this thing called the Canon Utility Web Live Stream, something like that, I don't know. Where basically you can use your Canon in OBS. For some strange reason, mine is, the autofocus is horrible. I had it in manual focus, but because I'm moving so much, it's, it was just causing too many problems. But the autofocus, I don't know, it's weird. So when I move closer, I see it does focus on my face. And I mean, I'm sitting in front of a green screen, so it's not like there's a whole lot of stuff behind me. But the autofocus works a lot better when I'm not hooked up to a computer. So I'm not sure what the deal with that is. I'll try to figure that out later. Also, I do see the frame rate 
is slowed down a little bit when I plug it up into the OBS. That may be because my OBS is set to only be at 30 frames a second and the camera actually can record at 60. I have the camera set at, okay, I have the camera set at 60 right now. So yeah, that could be the thing. Um, I'll try to figure all those settings out later. Cause if I can get all this stuff right, I'll actually start using my camera, the M50, instead of my webcam, and everything will look a whole lot better. So I don't know. I'll put both side by side. You can see the difference. I do like the colors on the M50 a lot better. To me, the webcam actually looks a little sharper, but that's only because of those issues I'm having with the autofocus. I gotta figure out what's up with all of that. So that's it for this part of the video, and catch you later. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here. Um, it took me a week to make this video, but the good news is since it did take me a week I was able to actually wait until this new lens came in I'm using right now So as you see this lens is a whole lot better than the one I was using in the first part of the video um, I'm still figuring it out. It doesn't have the stabilization and stuff like that So it's kind of weird and when I try to like take moving videos with it But if I'm using a tripod like I am now everything's fine, but anyway, I'm gonna leave the video um, right here and I'll be using this from now on with pretty much everything I do, unless there's some kind of a technical issue. So I don't really know how to end this. Um, until next time.